it's the end of an era h shankar linge gowda a former bjp mla who had made a mark in karnataka politics with his unflinching desire to work for the people and was extremely bold in addressing issues that concerned the people in the assembly constituency passed away on sunday yes a report h shankar linge gowda now atma sakshiyagi yavade aase amishagalige beleyagilla nange ellar mele vishwas ide ಮಂತ್ರಿಗಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಆಸೆ ಪಟ್ಟೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಳಗಡೆ ದುಷ್ಕೃತ್ಯಗಳು ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅಯೋಗ್ಯರಿಗೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪರಿಗೆ ಲಫಂಗರಿಗೆ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಟ್ಟವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇಂಥವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕಾಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನ್ಯಾಯ ನಿಧಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ಆಗ್ತದೆ was elected four time MLA on a BJP ticket from Chamaraja constituency breathed his last at BJS hospital in Kingeri last night He was 67 and is survived by his wife and four children Last Thursday Shankar Linge Gowda was admitted to a private hospital in Mysore owing to a stomach ailment but his condition only worsened as his BP fell and dehydration set in On Saturday he was shifted to BGS hospital in Kengeri in Bengaluru for further treatment. But unfortunately the ailment only worsened with his metabolism getting affected badly and liver becoming dysfunctional. He passed away at 9:31 p.m. His body will be kept at his native place Hemige in Mandya Taluk. Later his body will also be taken to his residence at Kuvempu Nagar in Mysore. At both these places arrangements will be made for people to pay their last respects. The cremation will be held in the evening. As the news of his death spread, scores of admirers and well-wishers crowded near the hospital and his native place. They were literally aghast that their beloved leader is no more. Adre 20 years old seva salisi sarvadika jyotri inta sanskrava ellu sigodilla matte inta sanskaragi utli anthe heli navella avarna ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವರು ಈ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಗೆಟ್ಟು ಬಯಸದಂಥವ್ರಲ್ಲ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಕೂಡ ನೋವು ತಂದು ಕೊಟ್ಟವ್ರಂತಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಈ ಚಾಮರಾಜ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಕ್ಕೆ ಅಭಾರಿಯಾಗಿಂತ ಇದ್ದಾರೋ ಈ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಅವರು ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೂರ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಶಾಸಕರಲ್ಲಿ ಇವರಂತ ಒಬ್ಬ ಶಾಸಕರು ಇನ್ನಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಬಯಸ್ತೇನೆ it might be recalled that shankar linge gowda defected to jds last year and even contested the assembly elections but lost to wasu of the congress tracing his political history shankar linge gowda contested for the first time in assembly elections during 1994 and 1 he was reelected for the successive three terms but as said earlier faced defeat in the recently held assembly elections but the loss in the elections did not deter him any bit in continuing his altruistic work towards the society and some people do lament the fact that the bjp which he represented four times as an mla did not pay him the much deserved respect ivattu nama sankalige godro eshte badavu jana odrano enta school college golige seat beku andre avare sotatha baruro ondu road agilla athwa yen agira avare sotatha age strike baruro aadre ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಅಂತಾರಲ್ಲ ಇವತ್ತು ಇವತ್ತು ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಅಂತಾರಲ್ಲ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಅವ್ರ ಏನ್ ಮನೆ ಕೊಟ್ರು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಬಾರಿ ಗೆದ್ದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಏನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಂದ್ ಸಚಿವರು ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇದೇ ರಾಮನಾಥ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಎರಡು ತಲೆ ಗೆದ್ದಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸಚಿವರು ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ರು ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಇಟರ್ನಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇರ್ ಅನ್ಫ್ಲಿಂಚಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ವೇಬರಿಂಗ್ ಝೀಲ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ಎಕ್ಸಾಜುರೇಷನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶಂಕರ್ ಲಿಂಗೆ ಗೌಡ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ curtains are in deep down on a glorious life he led but his legacy is immortal rest in peace shankar linge gowda with ram from mysore wish to prasad for news 9 bengaluru shankar linge gowda was a four time mla from the chamraja constituency in mysore he contested on a bjp ticket all the four times just before the 2013 assembly election shankar linge gowda joined the jds after heavy dissidents in the bjp remember throughout the five years of bjp government there was heavy dif- dissidents and shankar linge gowda was known as someone who took part in this dissidents activity demanding a seat in the cabinet 
but the BJP never gave him a cabinet berth and he continued to be a MLA of Chamraja and before, just before the elections, he joined the JDS and contested on a JDS ticket and lost from this constituency. Shankar Lingegoda was admitted to the hospital three days ago and he breathed his last around 9.30 last night. He had contested and won from Chamraja constituency consecutively four times from 1994 to 2008. He started his political career by becoming the member of the Mysore City Corporation in 1983 and in 1988 he became the mayor of the same corporation. He won the first election as an MLA in 1994. After losing the 2013 assembly election, he took a sabbatical from politics and switched to agriculture and set up a beans farm and tea layout in Mysore. Shankar Linge Gowda was born to Siddhe Gowda and Kempama of Hemige village in Mandya district and he belonged to a farmer's family. Shankar Linge Gowda, who was initially treated in Mysore, was later on shifted to the BGS hospital on Uttarali main road and he was brought in. The critical condition and the doctors over there tried to revive him, but that did not work out. So Shankar Lingi Gowda was admitted to BGS Global Hospitals yesterday evening. And he came from a hospital in Mysore. He was very sick. Uh, sick because of uh, issues with the liver and infection. And we treated him with dialysis. BP, medicines, antibiotics, ventilation, and despite treating over the last 24 hours, uh, he succumbed to his illness this evening at about 21.37. Moving on, along with new signs that searchers could be nearing the missing Malaysian Airlines plane, a fresh mystery has surfaced. The aircraft skirted Indonesian airspace as it went off the grid and veered off the course. The new analysis of the flight's path mean the plane may have been taken along a route designed to avoid radar detection. This is the latest report that is emerging. The HMS Eco, a British Navy ship equipped with advanced de detection gear, sailed into the search area hoping to home in on the place where a Chinese crew detected two audio signals. Investigators hope the pulse could be locator beacon from the plane's data recorders, but they are not sure yet. It might be only a few hours or a few days before the pingers aboard the plane stop transmitting for good. The batteries inside the beacons, which are designed to start sending signals when a plane crashes into water, last about 30 days after the device is activated. But that 30th day has come. The experts have said it's possible they could last several days longer if they were at their full strength. You can't do that. The search operation team, consisting of teams from various nations, are rushing to the spot where a Chinese ship recorded a couple of pings that is believed to be from the recorders of this particular missing aircraft. Yang Fu. <laughs> 